Hello, welcome back. In the last video, uh, the pilgrims have just started to give us a couple of problems. They're now blockading the Viagra system. And the Harmony are doing well colonizing all of this area. But I see we've got five systems and they're all pretty solid. Three of them are effectively outposts because they're covered by Deneb's area of influence. Uh, they're not quite yet, but still get the dust and science bonuses because they're within the influence. Uh, apart from that, we're about to build a military uh, in a few turns. So just going to get the happiness improvement before I do that. Uh, so end the turn. Let's see what happens. Okay, so there's a galactic event. And we've been attacked by the Harmony. I'll minimize that for a second. Looks like they're blockading Crass. I'm not too surprised actually by that. Harmony start to invade, yeah. So, where is this battle anyway? Oh, the scout there, I think. I was stopping them from colonizing the system, basically. Uh, so, the event. Your faction only collapsing asteroid. The Endless has turned an asteroid rich in metals into a dust mine. It is creating dust via micro factories that convert the rocks of the asteroid into something far more precious. The asteroid is slowly collapsing and will eventually disappear, replaced by a dust of a cloud of dust. Uh, additional effects of the selected option, your faction only of course, 500 dust, that's really good. 100 XP on a weakest hero, can't be bothered with that. Or 50 XP on the strongest hero, I think that's a no brainer. The Empire needs dust and heroes should be competent to fend for themselves, it goes straight into the treasury. And should get that next turn. It's the second dust uh, event I've had, so I've been really lucky on that side of the game. Uh, okay, over here they're using long range beams. Long range beams aren't that good actually, so I hope they use a lot of those. Uh, they can be decent in some rare circumstances, I think. Right, so retreat. Okay, no damage inflicted. Oh. Uh, your attempt to retreat has failed, your fleet has been destroyed. I'm guessing that's because there were outposts on all sides which I didn't realise the retreat mechanism worked like that. I would have uh, tried to attack them. It's not a big loss though. Okay, uh, so the Neb has finished planetary exploitation. Science until I've got that happiness improvement research. Crass can no longer turn into a colony because it's been blockaded until the blockade is finished at least. Um, apart from that's fine. Right, I don't want to move that there anymore. This is a much larger fleet. So that can move. It's a Herolium. Uh. 
Uh, they can combine. Actually, I think I'll stick a scout there in case they manage to get a colony ship down there somehow. And I'll move the defender up to Taurus to stop anyone from potentially colonizing that. So, there's also the threat of pirates potentially on systems that aren't within your sight range, I think, or influence range. So, that'll help against them appearing as well. Um, It's an ocean planet, so that's no good yet. I think some of these plants might have had happiness. No, perhaps not. Uh, maybe it's Crest that has extra happiness. Yeah, I should start colonizing these now. Because... Yeah. Extra happiness is never a bad thing. End of turn. Okay, so we just got 500 gold from the event last turn. Some of these events may be too powerful, I think. Or almost definitely are. Make, if you get an event like that, it's going to make the game a lot easier. This should be my first full game of this harmony though, so it's quite nice if it's a tiny bit easy. as well, so I think I'll leave the science on still. Try and get peace with the pilgrims. Right, end the turn. I think it's pretty clear that the Pilgrims are colonized down here, so there's not an awful need for me to go for the wormhole tech at the moment, which there might be normally. An anomaly is randomly created on three planets, your faction only. Does it tell me which planets there? If it doesn't, they really need to add that at some point. Uh, I guess next turn we might find out what they are, how weird they are. Hopefully they're good ones. Pilgrims. Alright, that's not good. Uh, chance for peace next turn via that attack. There's 
invasion module which I'll be needing soon. That tech there I definitely want. Increases. It's not as good as it used to be in the normal base version of Endless Space. It's actually being nerfed a lot but it's still very useful. Uh, and that tech there, that'll increase food and production a lot. Okay, I think I'll go for high energy magnetics next then. Uh, happiness is really good here, so don't need the supermarket yet. Uh, food. Like that. Fallen's relatively soon. Uh, when its influence increases, it will encompass Cran, which would be useful. in these lists. are not bottom which is good at this point in the game very good uh, pilgrims are second and harmony are mid and not a million miles behind the harmony actually things are going quite well I think I've got a ton of deaths so I should maybe use try and find a way to use it there's another hero I could buy but he's not really very useful I think so I'll There's a hero tech that reduces the hero time. Ah, so the Harmony are now invading Viacris. Did they destroy... They must have destroyed the Pilgrim fleet, or the Pilgrim fleet retreated. That's a decent fleet, that is, 8 and 2. But, as I said earlier, they can't have heroes, so... They need to get decent tech or a lot of numbers basically. Uh, peace option is now available and trade route. So I'll try and make peace with the pilgrims. And they'll accept. Brilliant. Uh, actually get getting wormhole tech would be quite good now to try and find the system so I can trade with them. Right, uh, yeah, I'll offer that. Mm. 
may have made a mistake actually, because they can potentially go through the Acris and colonize. And thought of that. It's probably not the end of the world. They probably not gonna be able to get past the harmony now anyway. Yeah, I think that's a mistake. Oh well. Um Right, Crass. Not 100% sure if they can get past. They might need to open board this treaty. Uh, it's been a long time since I played a full game of this. Can't remember at the moment. Um, it's pointless in building the trade. Uh, well, actually, they have a minus upkeep now, so. It might be worthwhile building them. But until I found planets I can trade with it, nearly useless. not really increasing my science by going any more left. It's just my food and industry. Oh, I should buy those. This guy increases what's he do? Industry morale. Happiness I keep on saying morale instead of happiness. I might move him in a minute. Okay, end of turn. That's new, I think. Uh, we had that event, didn't we? Uh, three anomalies. I don't remember that before. So that must be one of them. That's new as well. Poor soil. Is that new? Polar Tempest. So we got really... We've had good events before and we just had a really bad event basically. Yeah, I think they could have been positive though, so it's unlikely. Right, we'll start making some of these servitors as well to lift these blockades.
Okay, so the servitor is being made on Bundus at the moment. Probably use some other systems as well when they've completed a few more of their buildings. Right, uh, end of turn. Four of one and eight of two. There's a. Uh, oh wow, they came back. Nearly destroyed the fleet completely. I'm worried about the colony ship coming through now. That ship from Bendis, I might move to Herolia. You can only have three heroes in the academy at this stage without getting an extra tech, which is a long way away, so it's pointless in me hiring that rubbish hero with the money I've got. I'll wait to see if I get a decent one down the line. Um, this, we're going to this, use this guy's commander soon once the fleet's up, so I might take a military tech now. Is a particularly amazing. So, the thing is, I don't think these are correct all of these anymore, so it's a bit of a problem. That's pretty useless today, I think. You're gonna get, it's so easy to get experience with fleet heroes anyway, so. Actually, the veteran line is really good for this. Uh, it would be good for administrator now, and it would be good for later on down here. So it's a no-brainer veteran, I think. We're at peace with them, aren't we? So how are they? Why is there? A... Oh, that's a blue blockade symbol. Uh, the graph is a graphic area, a graphic error there, and the approval hasn't actually changed. So that's a bug. Uh, if it's not gone by next turn, I'll save and reload. Uh, I should probably save and reload now, but I don't want to take up the time, so I'll just end the turn. Yeah, that's still there. I'm gonna have to save and reload to get rid of that. Or try to get rid of it. Oh, no, they came back. That's weird. Perhaps the Harmony decided to move to the wormhole, through the wormhole, and then the pilgrims moved there. I don't know, it's a bit strange. Okay, so the neb uh, has got nothing really left to build, apart from new ships. Uh, 
Yeah, we'll colonize the Arctic. Extender. Happiness is just about okay. Um, do I need food? This colony is not going to take long to grow to its maximum extent, so I'm not going to bother building that. At the very end of the, one of the tech trees, there's something that turns food into industry at one of the techs, but that's miles away, so it's pointless in having uh, a ton of extra food on systems I don't need it to have it on. Until then, at least. Production's great with the sewers, though, so we're building ships fast. It's just the science that's the problem. I really like this uh, faction. Suits me quite well, the way I play. Oh, uh, got a servitor in the shipyard as well. So I'll move that to Herolium, so it's, I can go either way from those two, basically. I could do with an engine, because it's really slow. Um. I don't want to sacrifice any of his weapons or defense yet. Uh, there's a engine tech, isn't there? So I might take that soon. Put it on the list. Right, end of turn. Galactic event, all factions. In the race to develop technology, it appears that the technical team behind the company that produces your Starship engines cut a few corners that should have been left squared in order to avoid catastrophic system failure when certain, ve when certain events like attaining full speed occur, it is necessary to reduce all speed on all ships by half. Minus 50 percent fleet movement for 50 for 20 turns so I was just talking about engines it's typical like the engine event my fleets are incredibly slow now and that so I already start with a minus to the engines I may have to redesign the new ship actually um, with that bonus, they'd be moving at three parsecs per turn. Thing is, if I made an engine, it would only be four parsecs per turn with an engine, so there's not an awful lot of point, I think. I'm not gonna. If they are building invasion ships, they're not gonna be able to get quickly there anyway, so. I have said that, they had a really fast engine speed earlier on, so maybe they could. Um, okay, I build servitor. Very slowly put in. Definitely gonna need that engine now. Uh, so, Bandas is done.
Okay, and turn. Oh, found someone new. That's uh, United Emperor, I believe. So they're probably down these systems here. Right, the uh, Harmony is declared war. Good thing we're building military ships. I haven't seen any fleets that are too impressive yet though, so... But they have a lot of them. Or a decent amount of them. Right, I'll do him in a second. Uh, we've got a new industry. Building the stick in. I'll change that to there first and then that. second. I think on the first term you put, if you buy it straight away I think there's a, a neg, it costs a lot more so it's best to put some industry into it th first. Not 100% sure of that but I think it's right. Antimatter now on Kras. Uh, Hamlet declared war. Done that. Uh, the Neb has built a servitor. So we can go after Herolium. Slowly. Level. So morale or production of well morale of food is the best options. Uh, doesn't really need morale if he's gonna oh happiness I mean not morale if he stays there. Uh, Alioth needs a new planet as well. Minus five, minus ten. Need him to have him. You probably get. I'll move it to a uh, high pop system soon. Can stay there for now because he's got a protection bonus. And one some of those dead. Uh, but I'll give him food. ships. No invasion fleets yet though. Right, uh, I think it's been over half an hour now, so I'll call it a video. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and like the video. Uh, please leave any comment you'd like to make. And most importantly of all, please watch the next video. And thanks for watching. See you next time.